So we ended up moving pitches. Uh, we went up to see the lady at the camp in here at uh, St. Martin de Rey this morning. And uh, so it was a bit of confusion. <laughs> they haven't got, a, you know, I'm terrible and I, te absolutely terrible. And uh, yeah, communication skills uh, with the French, <laughs> very difficult. Uh, these guys are um, really sort of uh, probably deep. They don't see people like us. Um, anyway, uh, crazy people like us. Um, so anyway, uh, I said after a bit of a, uh, we um, changed it around a little bit and I said, can I go up on the top here? So we're the video from yesterday, we uh, literally decided if we can get up on the top here, we, w we went for that one, we were going for 119, but I've gone from 120 and because uh, um, someone m might be coming for that over the weekend, it's now Friday, but um, we've ended up on this pitch and uh, I'm just actually doing my um, little uh, Peggy Peg um, video. There will be a separate video. But uh, anyway, this ended up being, I've got the ticket in my pocket and we have got two nights here at 59.88 cents. 59 euros, 88 cents. So just shy of 30 pounds a night. And um, how nice is this? And it's a little bit more sheltered behind this um, hedge here. It's not far, uh, if you've seen the, um, the uh, donkey, the dreadlock donkey video <laughs> that we shot yesterday, the donkeys are just over that, uh, over in that direction where the town, and this is uh, a stone throw from the town, and it's a beautiful little town, that harbour yesterday, and uh, on the pitch as well. Um, so here we are, look, we'll get round and have a look at the number. So we're on like 120, there's the electricity supply. And just behind here is the, um, the taps on the bourne as well. So it's an absolute beautiful location. It's so quiet up here. But, uh, yeah, they've got these little uh, hedges in between the pitches and uh, there we are all in and out getting a f f summer getting the summer vibes coming through i think so we've left the campsite again and we're back on the streets of St. Martin de Rey. And uh, the first stop is a kind of a, uh, what do you call this? Um, yeah, a shop where they're doing all sorts of different, from wines to garden ornaments, uh, to the local pasties that we tried yesterday. Uh, a crab kind of uh, seat, kind of bean bag type of thing. It's beautiful. just come down by the church here and there's like a little tiny market going on so we'll have a little uh, little look see what's about uh, beautiful artworks of the donkeys I can see lovely books and uh, beautiful art prints and donkeys very picturesque Oh, there's the lovely uh, canvas of the uh, bridge coming across there, like, or bridge, Ilderay Bridge, lighthouses. Oh, look at the wall. Look at the wall. How impressive is this? This artwork. Look at this. Oh, man. They're lovely. Look at this kind of uh, canvases it's absolutely stunning this is a reflection of the water back on the French Bulldogs <laughs> it's 
Just uh, amazing amounts of uh, artwork. I love that uh, lobster up there. That. And the tin tin on the wall. Beautiful. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful, like heron made out of kind of like metal tin dragonflies and these lovely butterflies and this beautiful uh, fish quick taster of the property uh, St Martin de Rey this one is five and a quarter million and uh, what a place that is um, I'm coming down a little bit so I'm not going to do uh, too many we'll do that one as well look at the interior of that for 1.8 so if you want to move down here and uh, spend a lot of money a nice pair of uh, French espadrilles oh loads of them so just over there is the bar that we were at last night uh, and most of yesterday afternoon. Um, looks like the tide's out today. A uh, bit of uh, mud down there, all the bo boats actually lying in the mud. Looking out through the estuary up through there, looks beautiful this morning. Oh yes, God, the weather down here. <laughs> we're going to be uh, crying next week. Hopefully, we might come back for some warmth, but uh, yeah, memories of this place. Whoa. Very nice hotels as well down here. Jetty Hotel La Jetty. This is the museum. This is the museum. Uh, so we saw there was a museum around here somewhere. So uh, we thought we'd come down and have a look. It's Museum Ernest Cognac. Uh, I don't know what it's all about. I don't know if it means cognac, but uh, I saw this. Oh, look at these. Uh, this massive, great big. We made it round to the entrance of the museum, but uh, it looks like it's a no-go. It looks like kind of some sort of maritime museum, possibly. Um, arts, maybe, I'm not sure. But uh, we're going to uh, move on. Ah, so we're into the park, like a park area, and there's a bit of a uh, fun fair here. Um, and looks like a bit of an eatery over there. I'm looking towards that carousel over there that looks a really nice carousel. I want to check out some nice vehicles on there. I know the bus, yeah, I, I can't film with that little lad in there. But um, yeah, some absolute crazy little, uh, oh, and a real old school. Real old school. And look at this one a pink Cadillac. Oh, and a helicopter behind it as well. That looks amazing. Absolutely amazing, look at that. That is real old school helicopter in there. Total imagination there. I love the weatheredness of it as well, that kind of rust. And uh, where it's been down by the sea. They have a restaurant kind of place here, but there's a, they've actually got their barbecue and their kitchen set up in the back of a hull of a boat. <laughs> it's, uh, Nice. So the wall at the front 
and uh, just peeping out over the top of it. There's a kind of gap here, so I'm just going to poke my camera through that so you can get a perspective of uh, what we're looking at out through the window. And then just over on the left hand side is a nice little uh, lighthouse beacon up there as well. So we're going to head over there and check that one out. we're getting kind of up and personal with the donkeys. <laughs> well, this is uh, definitely dreadlock holiday job. Wow. Look at the uh, coat on this boy. And you're doing nice little uh, donkey tours, like so. Uh, you can have a four euro little donkey tour and uh, I should imagine it would be epic fun. Step by the point. quite see over this wall so I just poke the camera up over and have a look around oh I can see um, back up through to the town you can see the church up through there them uh, old kind of walls up there looking back round to the lighthouse that we just come from a bit of a uh, get a bit back and you can get a better perspective of it tuck around the corner. Caroline's just going to get a photo so I'm just going to try and tuck around here out of shot and look back up through into the, the little harbour here.
checking out this monster catamaran. Wow, look at that net on it. Back. It is ginormous. Ginormous. What a beautiful thing. That is some pet. That is some boat. Across the little office that does the shuttle, you can go on a boat. Um, I think you can go down to Fort Boyard on like a little boat like this. So there's Fort Boyard, and uh, oh, it just gives you the um, there we go. That so Friday, Saturday, yeah, all the times. That's quite nice. Just a little bit of information for you. Today, the 21st of April, um, 3.30 and 7.30, they're doing a two hour um, cruise around in the catamaran that I just looked at. Um, it stays within the, the bay. Um, oh, where am, I, where am I pointing? So we're up here, we're up here at the top there. Um, there's the, uh, you can see the lighthouse on the end of Ilda Ray, but it stays in, so it's a two hour um, round robin trip and uh, for 40 euros and uh, Caroline's just shaking her head saying nah not today <laughs> that's perhaps what it's like <laughs> cool. I bet it's an experience <laughs> maybe next time or the uh, Fort Boyer it's all going on here or La Rochelle they do a boat across to La Rochelle looking a bit retro the old sign up there Atlantic Cine that's cool look at that building looks like it's uh, looking a bit redundant now it was cine, but uh, back in the day, definitely. I've actually seen a Porsche pug. Oh, they got a blue Porsche pug in there as well, look. <laughs> they got oh, Porsche pugs. And they got a black one. Oh, oh, and a black. little black one. Well, he's, he's a black Ferrari one. And yeah, with the headphones on. <laughs> back in Do Re Mi, we had to come back to this place because last night it was empty, but today it's gone. And this is what we're looking for. Uh, we haven't had one of these French quiches for a long time, and uh, they've got it all in here. Um, they were, yeah, virtually sold out last night, I think. But um, they've got it all up, mate. And we're going to go for, I think we're going to go for one of these as well. We're going to yeah. get it, they heat them up as well. So these look really nice. Yeah. So yeah, we're just having a, um, a little catch up with the, um, the good ladies here at uh, Do Re Mi. And uh, basically, so last night the, the cakes were empty. And uh, look at the amount of incredible, you are going to be absolutely drooling when you see these cakes. Look at this absolutely stunning array all the way down through of incredible cakes. Look at that. Oh, loving that uh, Fort Bouillard a chocolate. Look. Oh, and they got the um, almost like a little, uh, oh, these little mini, mini donuts. Look, you're seeing these little mini donuts here. And uh, donuts, pastries. Yesterday we came down that side of the harbour, uh, so we're on the opposite side today. Uh, so we're going to um, head this direction out of the town and head down the coast a little bit, see what's uh, down that way. It looks really picturesque. But, um, get some great shots this side. I just wanted to come this side of the harbour as well this morning because it just looks so picturesque up through here today. Look at this, it's probably a prime spot view in that harbour it looks so nice and around the other side on that point yesterday where we were too let's uh, take you on up through how nice are them ladies in the k-shop do re me k-shop go in there the pastries she's heating us up some some nice bread and uh, she was going to heat our quiches but we're going to save them for a little bit later on but uh, look at them views of that harbour. Right, off we go in this direction. 
So it's time to munch. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. <sighs> up in the distance, that little lighthouse up there. So this uh, looks like it's um, a little bit dodgy. So out on the point. Right, we're going in, dark. in here. Oh my goodness me. Jesus, this is dark. Down the steps. Yeah, we're okay. Oh. Just on the middle, just keep coming off the middle of the... Can you see daylight? Go on. Little uh, spiral staircase has taken us down to the bottom of the fortress kind of and now we're down on the level just All ended right. up down on the on the bottom now but we're not sure she's going Carolyn's going to go back up I'm just going to have a quick look I'll have a quick look up here a minute and see if I can see an exit out of here. Let's see what the cra crack is. There's kind of like a little staircase over there in the rock. That's, I don't know how accessible that is. I'll, uh, oh, there's another one here, look. That looks like another little exit point there. Let's go and have a look at this then. So I might be able to just get ahead of Caroline. Oh my goodness, this is. Oh, this is one of them kind of slopes again whoa yeah it's all cool straight through the ramp we're getting used to this now tunnels and then up the little staircase I reckon there we go for a little exit back up in the fortress this is where we're at at the moment and it's just a uh, massive size fortress I'll have to have a look it up when I get home and get a bit more time that's another job another job check out the fortress St Martin de Rey stunning
beautiful. So we're back out on the outskirts of the town again. We came past here yesterday and they were down in the Citadel, but today they're up on the top. So we're getting, uh, getting a little bit more outside in the environment action here. There's the really good signs here in France. You see the camp in and the motorhome service point that perfect. I know you can get up the top of the church, so I'm just we're going up. The church is actually closed, but uh, we're just going to take a look through this little window of what it's like in the church. And then that window. So basically, what's happening is uh, we're going up the stairs. It looks like it could be. I'm gonna do it. Come on, it's a bit of a. Okay, I'm... give us five minutes then. Yeah. Bit of a spoiler. Oh, it levels up. It's not too far. Right. Okay. 
Oh, look at that, look. You can look over the top of this. Right, let's have a little look. Wow, this looks pretty cool. I don't know whether I can get up to the top, I reckon. This is interesting. Uh, wondering what the like the clothes got in here in the office in the church is like a clock face but this will actually um, controls the hands on the clock face outside look at that how nice is that and then um, they've got some beautiful old pictures beautiful starting to get a bit eye but uh, that's out one of these little broken kind of window things an angle of that. Look at this. Right, okay, let's see what's up around the corner. Yeah. Okay. We're just coming up through. And uh, no, just stay here then. I'll, 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 so Carolyn's getting a bit spooked out, but there's the the bells up in the tower, and it's all this like wooden frame. Look at this wooden frame. How long has this been here? <laughs> and the bells are right up through that. Look at them bells. When you can see, through the see in the middle them little uh, gearbox. Uh, for the directions of the hands out through to the clock faces. And look at these bells. God, they are. Oops. Look at that bell hanging up on that piece of wood with them huge U bolts securing it on. <laughs> through and uh, look at the detail on these bells. You just don't realize the uh, sheer detail of what's been uh, cast on them. We're getting right up through there's these big holes and I'm gonna look down have a look down on the bells up on this next corner it's really tight I wonder whether I can get like that so no we're actually all right just uh, a couple of people coming past and looking down on the bells. God, this structure. <laughs> looking down on the bells. Holy, wow. Beams. And the, right, I've got to get on up through that, to, up through there. So narrow. Oh my goodness me, watch your head, because it's low up here. Wow, that's sheer adrenaline. My goodness me. That is uh, definitely worth it for the views. shouting to me she's right down right down there oh my god seriously high up whoa Absolutely incredible experience. My God, I've never been in a bell tower like this in my life. It's uh, absolutely awesome. And bits of timber road and then bells up. Right. Oh, them bells are just absolutely, what are they weighing? 
<laughs> oh my goodness. And that little uh, bit of a closer look at that little tiny gearbox, that ticking away the time. God, them bells. <sighs> Absolutely epic. You really have to see this place. Have a look. Yes. Have a look. Oh, the, uh, the flare of the bleeds. I can see it on the end. We need to go to that place. Yeah.